Hi Sagittarius, how's it going you guys? Welcome to your March 2020 tarot reading with me. I have a little bit of sage going, um, I've lit a candle for you, so let's just go ahead and get started. I would like to start this tarot reading out by telling you guys, I tried to do your tarot reading a couple days ago, okay, but um, you know, that didn't work out as far as timing and things like that, but I did feel a significant amount of energy that I wanted to share with you guys, just in case it resonates. When I tried to tap into your energy to give you a tarot reading a couple days ago, Sagittarius, I did feel a lot of impatience. I was met with a lot of impatience, um, ir even irritability. It made me think that Mars was still in Sagittarius, but Mars is actually in Capricorn now. So I don't know if you guys are experiencing any irritation or impatience, you know, just feeling, I felt really on edge. I felt, and I'm, that's not me. I'm, I don't ever, it's very rare that I feel that, okay? I don't have that much fire energy in my chart. Um, so I do feel like that was you, Sagittarius, as I tried to connect to you. And there also may be something that you guys try to do. Um, this could be a relationship. It, it could be anything. It can involve a home environment or a job, but there may be something that you tried to do in March that you weren't able to do. Um, maybe it was because of divine timing you know the me trying to do your reading for March a couple days ago and not being able to could definitely be a metaphor maybe there was something that you were trying to do that you weren't able to do and that's what caused the irritation so that's just for some of you out there but we are here today it is airy season we have passed the spring equinox okay so yeah I guess this is just the right time to do your reading I definitely tapped into you guys a lot easier uh, today so I'm just gonna trust that this is the right time so i don't know guys if you're going through anything like that just trust in divine timing this month try to stay as patient as you can i know there's a lot going on in the world i'm very interested to know how you guys are handling um social distancing and like self-quarantine and the things that we've been advised to do as a country right now so yeah uh anyway sagittarius that was just something i wanted to share with you guys we got a little bit of light here hopefully you guys can see okay but um, we do have light in my blinds, um, you know, we can see a little bit of a glare, so hopefully you can see. Alright, that is enough of an intro. We are going to go ahead and start with the tarot reading now. I am using the Triple Goddess deck this month, just to help me a little bit with my intuition. It's the same energy, like it's the same original tarot cards, but this deck is a little bit different. If you like this deck, the name and, and information will be in my description box, okay? But this is the beautiful Temperance card. This is one of my favorite illustrations of the Temperance card because it's it's definitely it definitely holds true to the traditional meaning of Temperance, right? We've got patience here, balance, moderation. There's always like an illustration of someone in the card with their foot in the water and, and their foot on land. That that definitely speaks to balance. Excuse me, but in, in this tarot deck, we do have a beautiful full moon illustrated, okay? So there may be someone here watching specifically for their Sagittarius moon, or you, this may be an, an indication to watch for your moon sign this month. Full moon um, in this card, which is leading me to say that there, the full moon in Virgo may have been very important to you guys. That was in your 10th house of career. And uh, the full moon in Libra may be also important to you guys. That's going to be in April, though, okay? So pay attention to the moons. But that's what we have so far. I'm going to go ahead and check what's going on underneath you guys because I shuffled these cards in the name of you. So we've got a lineup here that is of some significance to Sagittarius this month. Okay, so the card right behind you guys is the Temperance. Interesting. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. Okay, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It's the energy of someone's mind. It might be something that someone's thinking about, saying, communicating, you know what I'm saying? Seven of Swords, though, is that energy of trying to get away with something Sagittarius. Okay, so there may be something here strategic. March may be a month of strategy, okay, for you guys. Um, now, I do want to say the Seven of Swords does talk a lot about infidelity, like cheating, anything that has to do with like not being transparent with somebody, sneaky, uh, you know, trying to get away with something, trying to go unnoticed. So the degree of that that you guys are all going to resonate with is going to be different, okay? Some of you guys are going to resonate with lies, betrayal, cheating. Others of you are just trying to strategize your way out of a situation without hurting somebody, without being noticed, you know? So whether this is like a huge lie or a little white lie, I'm not sure. But we've got some pretty interesting energy. The next card is also air energy. We have the Knight of Swords. So this could definitely be in regards to um, 
a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising in your own chart, someone else's chart. But the Knight of Swords is talking about Gemini energy. This is your opposite sign, okay? So this could definitely have to do with relationships. Um, Knight of Swords is, is sometimes a very quick person to make their mind up, uh, say something. Knight of Swords is, definitely doesn't spend a lot of time stabilizing what they think okay this is not the card for that this is a card for someone who's done already said something in march that they may regret this may have been a lie uh there may be an argument this month sagittarius about you know that someone here wants the truth the knight of swords is on a quest for truth so if if you guys are falling under that regimen of feeling like someone is not being completely honest with you or if you're not being completely honest sagittarius there is an energy here to charge forward with the truth make up your mind very quickly um, I feel some of you may have two people place their things to choose from. And this could definitely be an argument over a lie or over betrayal or deceit, okay? And we move forward to another night, okay? The Knight of Pentacles. So this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. We have two knights here. So there definitely may be two people, a, an air sign and an earth sign. Someone who's um, very mental, communicates a lot, and someone who's a lot slower. This could be the same person. But this looks to me like two people who are um, on horses, like not, not literally. Horses may be important. You know, Sagittarius, you guys are half man, half horse. So these are kind of like centaurs if you really want to think about it. But these are opposite energies, okay? The Knight of Swords is very quick. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. So some of you guys, um, there may be an energy here of just kind of slowing down but, and, and giving yourself time to think about something, okay, after some kind of truth comes in. There may be an energy of stagnance. The Knight of Pentacles is all about moving more practically because there's, there's an energy here of, um, yeah, strategy, practicality, being logical, all right, slowing your mind down a little bit to practicality. And um, the Knight of Pentacles also talks about, like, your routine, hard work, almost a bored, a boring energy. Okay, so for some of you guys, there's a boring energy here. And someone, this may be you or someone exterior to you that is coming in to communicate, okay? It's definitely not boring anymore if there's, like, some lies going on or something like that. The next card we have is the Emperor. We got the Divine Masculine showing up here. This is Aries season. So I feel like things may slow down a little bit um, as the sun enters Aries around the March 20th, 21st, 22nd. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Virgo, a Gemini. Um, yeah, there's definitely some truth here that someone wants to know, okay? You guys are going to be getting a truthful message in March because we have the Page of Swords. This is a young air sign. This might even be in regards to some kind of child, a truth that comes out about a child. This may be something a child says to you, reveals to you, but... The Knight, I'm sorry, the Page of Swords is a, is a card that comes up for people who are going to investigate. We do have like an investigation going on here. And it could be about somebody's father, the father, a father figure, like someone, the father to someone's child. You may find out that, and there's also something here about someone, someone's job or something. Or maybe they're just in co a collaboration with someone financially. Because I did just see the Three of Pentacles. So this may be happening in regards to someone's work. Something may come out, alright. Aries season is definitely going to... And it's interesting, Aries, for you, Sagittarius, is your fifth house of romance, creativity, expression. Aries is going to help you guys express yourself in a more truthful way. Pisces season was a little bit difficult as far as astrology goes because it does square you. It does bring up things about your family and your home life. So we've got home life, family stuff, your foundation at the beginning of March. And the end of March takes a turn to the more romantic sector. Soulmate, energy, children, expression, and creativity, okay? So basically, Sagittarius, there is some kind of message coming in. We have the Eight of Wands. This is your energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of arrows being shot here. This is about you turning your focus to, to the truth. We have the world here. So this may be in regards to travel. This may be in regards to a long-distance message. Some of you guys may be in, on a, an online relationship. Um, but there's there's definitely some kind of message here in regards to a completion. This message coming in may complete some things, especially if you find out the truth. You may do some spying, um, whatever that means. Or someone could be spying on you, Sagittarius. Um, someone here is communicating their truth, and they need to find out a, a new way to communicate this truth, kind of like the Knight of Swords. It's interesting you go from the Knight of Swords to the Page of Swords. So there may be an age difference here or a child present. Again, we have the Emperor, so this is strong for Aries energy. Again, you may be dealing with an Aries or have your own Aries energy in your chart. If so, 
you may want to watch the Aries reading for this month. But to me, this looks like, I don't know if a boss says something to you or a father figure, if there's something here about authority, but someone also may be a little bit upset about what they see or what they hear. Or maybe someone's just upset because they have a, an intuition, they have a vibe that someone isn't being honest. And they get kind of upset and demand the truth. Someone here is demanding the truth. And until then, there's going to be like this slow up, okay? This might have taken place like around the... 17th 18th 19th i feel like right before aries season you felt a little stagnant sagittarius there was some kind of energy of you waiting for some kind of proof or something so whether you're the knight of pentacles or the knight of swords there's two different messengers here one that is practical and has proof and one that you know spoke too so soon the knight of swords doesn't always have the whole truth nothing but the truth okay there may be a little bit of a Kind of like someone's face is being hidden here and they're not entirely showing you who they are or that may be you, Sag. But that makes sense, okay? Your whole That whole thing just made a lot of sense because the card right behind you for the whole entire month of March that is of some importance to each and every one of you is the Seven of Swords. So be very, very mindful of deception, deceit. Someone's, there may be even be someone here who is a thief, okay, that steals, okay? Whether that's metaphorical or literal, um, so yeah, I would say there's a definite, definite need to be patient with that Knight of Pentacles coming up this month, Sagittarius. So that might have resonated with some of you guys, but let's go ahead and get your actual cards out for March and see what's going on. So this is for Sagittarius for March 2020. What's going on for Sagittarius for March 2020? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 2020, please. Show me Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know for the month of March? What are they going through? Show me Sagittarius. Oh, okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that card just flew out. Wow, and look what it is. It's that Page of Swords. So this is definitely coming back out to tell me that Sag just really wants to know the truth. I mean, honestly, you guys are ruled by that scholar school energy of Jupiter. Needing to know more. Knowledge is so important to Sagittarius. So this could just be... You guys wanted to know, what do you want to know more about, Sagittarius? Um, it could be a person, place, or thing. This could just be you studying, learning something. I'm, I'm seeing you surrounded by a lot of books. You know, your mind is pretty sharp. There's a lot of light coming in and truth. So I don't know if you guys are doing any writing this month, okay? Just aside from what this card actually means. Like, I just see in the card that this person is writing, studying. Very studious energy here with the Page of Swords. Finding a new way to articulate yourself. Finding a new way to like, you know, new beginnings and truth. But let's just be real here. There is a spy. Someone is spying on you this month, Sagittarius. They want to know more about you. They want to learn more about you and the truth in regards to you. Or this is you in regards to another person. The Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck for this card though lets me know that this is kind of a burden I feel like the things that you guys are studying or investigating or spying on may lead to some kind of burden or, or end to something heavy that you've been carrying. Maybe you guys find out something that really lets you release a toxic relationship or living situation, job, whatever it might be. There's some truth coming in though, okay? And this definitely, re it causes you guys to move on to calmer waters, to something that would be more desirable, some kind of new opportunity. But I do see it may cost you guys... Um, money a foundation or you may have to separate with taurus virgo capricorns verbatimly specifically if you felt stuck in that relationship or situation because of money there's like a new opportunity coming in that would make you very emotionally satisfied but you do have to move on from a burden okay this truth has something to do with that kind of that kind of energy let's continue what else do we have for sagittarius now that we know you guys are focused on the truth look at that shit. why are these two coming back out are these two people in your life Sagittarius, we have the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords coming back out. So some of you guys, whatever you investigated, uh, whatever you found out, Sag is really um, almost enlightened this month. Oh yeah, look who's on the bottom of the deck. You. This is you, okay? You could be dealing with someone else who is a Sagittarius or has Sagittarius energy in their chart. I do feel like there is something that you may be keeping um, under wraps Sagittarius I don't know the extent to this lie that you're keeping or that someone is keeping from you and I only say that because we have the seven of swords and the temperance on the bottom of the deck still for this knight of swords so someone's rushing towards you to tell you something hey Sagittarius I saw your girlfriend the other day they were all hugged you know something like that you may find this out on your own with social media right now a lot of people are really on on their phones right now 
So, yeah, I feel you, you may communicate something. There may be a letter that is wrote or a text message, email, whatever. You may even conversate this in person or on the phone, but someone is running with the truth here. They're no longer sitting at a desk studying. They've found it out. The sword has come off the wall and into someone's hand. And now whatever you find out, you're going to want to communicate. Sagittarius, you really are. And there may be a Gemini here. There may be a younger Gemini here that is important. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel Gemini. Um, maybe there's something here about being patient to find out this truth in March. But honestly, these are the first two cards out. So I feel like this is how you entered March, finding something out, writing a letter to some kind of, this may even be something really big where you're writing into like a job or a corporation, you found out the truth, you're ready to run for it. Just be careful with this Knight of Swords, okay? You guys are the Knight of Wands in Tarot, so you're used to moving fast, passionately. But are you used to articulating whatever you found out, Sagittarius, into words? So just be mindful of that, okay? Um, because this is not the King of Swords. Excuse me, the king of swords is more mentally stable, but every king starts out as a page and a knight, all right? So there's there's a maturity here. Someone here has matured intellectually, like their mind has definitely leveled up because of what they've found out, okay? So let's continue here. There's something that somebody wants to say, okay? I'm getting, I'm getting the vibration that someone here has even done research to articulate themselves, um... Definitely some spying going on here with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, but, and it might cause a battle. I do feel like someone here, there might be like a text argument. We got the sun coming out though, okay? The sun. So this is more clarity. This is that Aries energy, Leo energy actually, but I say Aries because it's the springtime this month. So this may definitely be in regards to after March 20th, even though I feel like this is how you guys came into March. So now, I don't know if anyone has blonde hair here. I see someone here of darker skin complexion as well. If that's of any importance, someone of darker skin complexion. Um, definitely ebony skin, like maybe they're mixed or African American, whatever. Um, but yeah, and then I see also more detail here where someone may have blonde hair. But that's just for some of you. Some of those details may matter, some may not. Um, and then also someone here may have red hair. I see someone here, it might be an earth sign that has red hair or maybe there's someone with red hair that is moving slower I don't know um but yeah we got a Leo here we do have a child here there may be a child a Gemini child here of importance but Sagittarius you're getting very clear and very outspoken there may be something that you say um in March specifically the beginning of March for most of you where you know and this is not a bad thing the knight of swords comes out for people who need to speak quickly think think quickly make a decision quickly it's the energy of like even arguing sometimes because someone sees something or says something. But this is in regards to your happiness, maybe a child or a Leo energy. But yeah, this is clarity. Like all we have on the table between these three cards right now is all energies that would give you clarity. If some of you guys, if you don't have a diary or something like that, you might want to do that. You know, there's something here. I don't know what it is, Sag. It might be Pisces season that did this to you, another Jupiter-ruled sign. But there was a lot of knowledge. Some of you read a lot of books or you read a lot of articles online and, like, they just stimulated you and you want to do something with this truth. You want to bring it to light. You want to bring it to clarity. Maybe there's some kind of message in March that comes to you from an outs outsider's perspective. It makes you happy, this communication that comes in. You've waited a long time for this. Gemini, Libra, I'm sorry, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This may be... Um, you know, you've waited a long time to see this. You've waited a long time for clarity and happiness. And there was definitely a slow up, okay? Especially if you're dealing, you had to wait on Aries season. There was something, there was some kind of truth and happiness that you had to wait on, specifically till Aries season, till the spring, until an, a new season, a new astrological year. Aries is a fire sign like you, Sag. So this is going to bring in romance and stuff. Let's see what else is going on for you, Sagittarius. So far, things are just crystal clear. I'm hearing crystal clear, like... You know, it's going to be very, very difficult for you guys not to know your truth this month. We've got the Ten of Wands coming out again. So this is a burden. You could be dealing with a Taurus. We have the Hierophant here. You may need advice about some kind of ending that's taking place in a home environment. Because I do see, like, it's like the pros and the cons. There's a lot of endings when it comes to some kind of commitment that's ending. A job, maybe a Taurus, uh, maybe a marriage. There's a home environment. Something that you had a few, you, you planned a future with this person. 
um, or this place or this thing and it's coming to an end. But we do have new love, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, new love. Or just taking a risk for love, whether it's a water sign or not. There is a love message that is risky, but it has a new beginning attached to it. You could be dealing with a Virgo. We do have the Hermit. Maybe you guys are just trying to isolate and self-reflect about cheating in the past. We've got Virgo, Sagittarius, and that Seven of Swords there again. Some of you guys are stuck in your head about some kind of lie. You could be lying to yourself, Sagittarius. You know, the fact that I didn't mention that, but the Seven of Swords can definitely be self-deceit as well, okay? So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Virgo, but we do have a, a Cancer over here as well that could be giving you attention. Um, in the, the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we have Leo showing up. So a lot of you are dealing with, um, you know, lots of different zodiac signs. So you're going to have to apply that how it goes because all of you are dealing with different signs. But I'm just reading the cards. You know, this may be kind of heavy, Sagittarius, but I think you're very happy to release burdens this month. You know, it's about to be spring. And it's like, yeah, it's very clear. We almost had the temperance card come out. So some of you are dealing with like other Sag or that's just your energy. But look, the temperance card almost came out. And look what, it, what would have been on the bottom of the deck, that seven of swords. Okay, so we'll see here. There's a need to separate from, there's a need to separate energetically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically from people, places, and things in March that are lies. That might be why there's such a, a huge, look at that, all that shuffling and still the damn seven of swords under there. So there's definitely a need to separate yourself from that, okay? And when, when you do that in March, there may be an energy here of the Four of Cups, which tells me, you know, you're going to be kind of in your in, in a contemplative mode um, emotionally, okay? There, there's a difference between the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. This is someone who is thinking, and while they think and contemplate, almost daydreaming energy here. Um, they're unsatisfied, okay? They're unsatisfied. They're unavailable, this person here. This is either you or someone else, someone who you maybe want to have a passionate connection with, sex. You know, the Ace of Wands, this is a new passionate spark. That is what Sagittarius is daydreaming about at the end of March specifically. After uh, you guys find out some kind of truth, investigate, you run with that truth, you shine light on that truth, and it ends a burden with you and someone else. Literally, Ten of Wands. This burden is over in March. And you can be happy and move forward with your truth. But it's like there is going to be a point in March where you're just kind of daydreaming outside a window, thinking about how the fuck to get this re this passion restarted. This may be someone you had a sexual encounter with, maybe not in March, but I do feel that this is either someone thinking about you, Sagittarius. What's behind this? The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys, you guys are daydreaming about a new beginning, and it might not even be sex. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, this is like... Something physical, something that you need. Yeah, Sagittarius needs passion, specifically at the end of March, because Aries season is going to want to really spark your guys' romance. We're going to have a new moon in Aries on the 24th, so that might be when this really kicks off. Like, I'm telling you right now, the Ace of Pentacles is all about something that you need, which can be anything, right? But we got the Ace of Wands with it. So this isn't, this isn't just a physical need, Sagittarius. This is a passionate need. It could be intimate, okay? I definitely feel a vibration of sex here, but the point is, is someone here is thinking about how unsatisfied they are. Obviously, some of you guys aren't sharing this passion. And these new beginnings could be a new job for some of you or a lump sum of money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three of swords behind that. So there is also the energy here of a separation, like someone who's single, someone who's broken up, heartbroken. Yeah, some of you guys, after you find out that someone else wasn't very truthful to you or Sagittarius, someone could have found out that you weren't very truthful with them. Whatever way that went, it's like this new spark. And I do feel intuitively that you guys kind of, well, I'm hearing hooked up, but like there was a new spark that you felt even though you were separated from someone else. It might have even been cheating. You might have cheated on someone or someone cheated on someone with you. Hopefully that's not sounding confusing, okay? But either way, if someone cheated and that person they cheated with, there's a spark there. It's what you need. This person is exactly what you need. Now you're daydreaming about them. Now you're thinking about them. Or some of you guys are just like, I do feel a little bit of horniness here. I'm not trying to be weird, but I do. I'm just going to call it how I see it. Someone's very unsatisfied here. And, you know, regardless of if you're with someone or not at the end of March, you're thinking about something else. Your mind is elsewhere, Sagittarius. You can't tell me that that isn't true because it's in the cards. Some of you guys, this might even have something to do with why you need to, you want to know more this month about why you're truly unsatisfied. 
someone also wants to know more about why they why you rejected them Sagittarius or if you feel rejected because this is the card of rejection and what the four of cups tells us in tarot is that the person who's getting rejected or this could have been a missed opportunity whatever okay whether you missed this opportunity accidentally or you purposely ignored this opportunity or if someone else is doing this the reason why is because of emotion they're they're hiding certain feelings under the table there might be a third party that is secret here you're like searching for that fourth cup, you know what I mean? And you don't even realize that it's like on the table. Some of you guys are trying to drink less because of this, you know what I mean? But someone here is definitely thinking about a new love, okay? You're wanting more of what you're already focused on. But be careful because you may miss an opportunity um, with with a, with a, a new, you may miss an opportunity to have intimate sex with someone or passion with someone because of an investigation that's already going on metaphorically okay you want to know more about your attention is somewhere else Sagittarius wanting to know more about someone else somewhere else passion elsewhere yeah okay we got the four of pentacles that just came out with that so someone here is hanging on to someone else okay yeah waiting on someone else something else. you had an investment elsewhere this may involve a mother figure we have the empress this is someone you find very attractive they're like a queen to you but see, the thing, Sagittarius, is that you've been inconsistent. This may be you as the Knight of Wands. Someone here may have, may have had a night, one night stand in March or prior to March, and now you're dealing with like someone possibly being pregnant by your child, or you may be dealing with someone who's a mother or already pregnant by someone else, which is why you would have a, a choice to make between a commitment, a new commitment, and leaving someone out in the colds. And we have the lovers. Some of you are definitely dealing with your opposite sign, Gemini, but this looks like a one night stand that led to um, marriage or pregnancy because the, the empress could be somebody's wife as well someone might have cheated on their wife here someone may already have investments with a with a mother figure pregnant woman or a wife but all i can tell here is that we have two fours four of pentacles four of cups whatever your whatever has you unsatisfied whatever you're daydreaming about sagittarius whatever you need to know more about before you can move on you're hanging on to that you may need to save money Okay, somebody here may be offering something that they're really not willing to let go of. Some kind of energy like that. But this is a comfort zone. You guys need to get out of your comfort zones and release. Okay. But yeah, okay. Let's see. Sagittarius. Show me the end of March for Sagittarius. End of March 2020. And we have the Queen of Pentacles coming out. And she's. I'm going to leave her right there because that's what happened. Look at it. We have the Page of Pentacles. So there's definitely Earth sign energy to consider here. If you're not dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, if you don't have that energy in your charts, then this is about finance and stability. Uh, this is a wife. Someone here is hanging on to their wife. They're daydreaming about their wife. Or someone here is unsatisfied because they're already in an earthly commitment with somebody. This is a Capricorn woman. Um, there may be some spying that an earth sign woman is doing at the end of the month, okay? Or maybe you guys are spying on an earth sign sleepless nights. You, you still have faith that this could work out, but I'm telling you what, there's a spying energy here with the magnifying glass and there's a spying energy here. You guys might need to know more about this earthly woman or someone who's already in a commitment. This could be a Taurus, okay? There's an earth sign here who's just concerned with like saving money and stability and outcomes that nine of swords. So there's definitely some anxiety here about somebody finding out the truth. We got an Aquarius here. This might be just talking about uh, staying hopeful, giving yourself some time to meditate with the universe about love. Okay, because there is an action that you want to take, Sagittarius, like a new beginning that you're craving to take. Sag does that sometimes when they're just over it. You're like, all right, I need a new adventure. Okay. That's what you're definitely going to be feeling, but it does involve either a Gemini, a, a really special relationship. This is a divine connection, okay? Written in the stars. You guys are compatible astrologically, like, but there's some kind of choice. A fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius needs to make a choice. And this is someone you may not have communicated with, but you have sleepless nights over this person. And it's either over somebody that you want to be with or someone you're currently stuck with somebody and daydreaming about someone else. Like, I don't know, but you need to figure out why you're unsatisfied at the end of March, Sagittarius, and why you're holding on to something that for only money or something like that or stability or an earth sign. I don't know, but we've got some sleepless nights here. Okay. Yeah. Because someone here has a lot of options. Seven of Cups. One of the options is going to make you very happy, though. One of these options may be in regard to the law. It might be Libra energy here that we have. 
a divorce may need to take place. Okay, we got Virgo, Scorpio, um, Aries. So a lot of options here, but what are these what which are these options gonna make you the happiest, Sagittarius? And which of these options are just gonna give you anxiety? Are you guys anxious that someone else has options for once? Because we all know Sagittarius has options. Okay, it's like a thing. So let's see, I know there's going to be an ending to a burden here that makes you quite happy, but then you're going to be really, really thinking about why you're still not happy. Why am I still not? Because there's a difference between being happy because something's over and being unsatisfied. Like you may be happy, Sagittarius. You're very optimistic by nature, but are you satisfied? It's, it's time for you guys to, to figure out what satisfaction is. That may be what you're investigating. You want to know more about why you're not satisfied with an earth sign or why an earth sign isn't satisfied with you. There could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here that is not um, satisfied or they're just not present. we got the Queen of Swords coming out. This could be you or someone exterior to you guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. One of your options is, yeah, you end March with... Um, the mask being cut off somebody here is really like not happy okay um this may be a gemini libra aquarius woman maybe some of you guys have that in your chart because i see an air sign who wants like the truth is going to be so important i mean we got the nine of swords the eight, the queen of swords the knight of swords the page of swords swords cups wands we got all the elements here Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. So this is definitely about what would emotionally satisfy you. Look at that, Nine of Cups. I'm pretty sure Cancer got the Nine and the Ten of Cups in their reading too. Sagittarius, I can see as your tarot reader that the, what would make you the most happiest in March is to just start a new beginning, to travel, maybe even take a risk. You know, instead of juggling, because we do have a Sagittarius juggler here, okay? Look at this path that you've reached, right? Okay, there's a there's a battle here. There's going to be maybe some kind of phone call. This is like a battle that you've fought for the second time. There is a second chance here if someone would just lower their defenses and admit that they're juggling more than one person, place, or thing. There's obviously more than one thing that you value here, but it's like there's a new beginning here that would be very emotionally satisfying and fulfilling. If you can just meet your truth at face value at the end of March, okay? Definitely if you're dealing with an air sign, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. You know, it's time for you guys to get out of your head and anxiety. Pay attention to why you're not sleeping well at night. You know, there may be options laid out at your mind, on your mind. Options that are giving you anxiety, actually. But like I said, you need to cut that mask off and be, ever, be whoever you are at the end of March going into April, okay? Hopefully a, a version of you that is very clear about what would emotionally satisfy you. As far as home, family, romance, relationships... So that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching this month. If this resonated and you'd like a personal reading, check my description box and email me so we can further talk about that. Other than that, guys, I hope you had a great March. You know, happy St. Patrick's Day and Equinox. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the other side of April. See ya.